Nikki, Nikki, Nick. Nikki, Nikki, Nick. Nikki, Nikki, Nick. Nikki, Nick, Nick. Nikki, Nick, Nick. Nikki, Nick, Nick. <laughs> that was my nickname. My dad gave me. He used to call me Nikki, Nick, Nick, because my name is like like Nicole, but my nickname was Nikki, Nick, Nick. I got you. Did he call you that like all your life? Yeah, he. My dad would call me that all the time. He would say, "Hey, Nikki, Nick, Nick." Your dad passed away, right? Yeah, he passed away. How old was he? He was uh, fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Yeah, Damn. it'll be oh, three God. three years on uh, Halloween. Three years on Halloween, exactly. Mm-hmm. He oh, he wow. died uh, the day before Halloween. How did he die? He fell down the stairs. What? Yeah. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. <laughs> Your father fell down the stairs, and that's how he died. Yeah, it was a tragedy. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Time out. Before you were a streamer, you did what? I was in installation. You were in installation. And what happened to you doing installation? Well, I, I, 10 months before my father fell, 10 months to the day, I was working and I was carrying vents down the stairs. And I happened to fall from the second floor to the basement. And I, I injured myself, so I couldn't work. And... Yeah, and then 10 months later, my dad was at my cousin's house, and basically the same thing happened to him, but he didn't make it. My goodness, what kind of injury? Did he fall, like, on his head, or, like, what kind of injuries did he sustain? Is it okay to talk about this? Like, Yeah, that's okay. He, he fell onto his head, and he had a major brain bleed in the middle of his brain where the doctors couldn't get to it. I forget what it's called, but it's, like, right in the core. And it just wouldn't stop bleeding, and they couldn't. They they did like six brain surgeries on him. He was in a coma for sixteen days. Jesus. Yeah. That's crazy. And 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 how long ago was this? I'm sorry. Uh, well, it'd be three years, October thirtieth. Three years, October thirtieth, and you failed ten months before. Before, he yeah, before he did, and I was actually gonna try to get back to work, and you know, I was starting to feel, you know what, maybe I will, you know, I was starting to feel better. But then I was like, after my dad fall, I was like, hell no, I'm not going back to that job. I'm terrified of heights now. I'm not risking it. So yeah, so I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna be doing installation, just because of you know, my I fell, then my dad fell ten months later, and I didn't want to go back to a job where it's so risky, you know where I could fall or injure myself. So I decided to not do that work anymore. So you fell on your head? Well, I fell on my ass and then fame. Like I, I injured my hip, fell in my head, but I'm fine. Like I, I recovered. Well, yeah. But, but Jesus. That's crazy, yo. I didn't know yeah. your dad had died from falling on you and you, you fell. Jesus. Well, I was at work. My boss was right there. He tried to catch me in midair. He said I should work for Hollywood. He said I should be a stunt woman for the movies because after I fell, I got I was more worried about him. He looked so scared. I'm like, it's okay. I'm all right. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't sue. Why not? You were at work. I, well, I got I get I got off work for a while and got paid for being off work, but I I I don't know. I didn't I didn't sue. So, so your dad wasn't working. What was your dad doing? My dad was at my cousin's house, hanging out, drinking. Oh, man. Yeah, and he wasn't supposed to be drinking. Damn. So. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. And you got, well, you got two other brothers? Yes, I do. I have two, one older, one younger. Damn. Did it hit, it hit everybody hard, huh? Yeah, it did. Kind of, it kind of separated the family a little bit. Mm. You got to grow up real fast when you got to plan a funeral. Hell yeah, that sucks. That's su what a way to start off this interview, man. Welcome <laughs> everybody to the interview. I am here with the lovely Nikki Nick Nick 
that's Nikki Nick. Oh my God. Nikki three times is what I affectionately call her. I love her. Uh, we've known each other for so damn long. Uh, uh, <laughs> what a way to bring in the interview. Well, I was expecting that. Uh, I had to go there though. I was not expecting that. I think you told me that, but I really didn't even remember. You know, the whole reason I do gaming and I do streaming and I have this channel, Nikki Nick Nick, is because my dad gave me that nickname. And after he passed away, I wasn't working. I didn't want to go back to work because I was afraid of the falling and you know what I mean? I had a little anxiety about heights and wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. So I decided to get a PlayStation. I never had a PlayStation before. I never really gamed before because I was always working six days a week and I started gaming and here I am. <laughs> so well, Your community, we're all glad that you're here. Yeah. Um, not glad yeah. how you got here, but you know, everybody loves you. You know, I love you. We love you. Um, there's no secret. So, yeah, so I've been waiting to do this for a long, long time, and I'm glad you got, I'm glad I got you here. We go way back, right? Long, yeah. long. We're going to dive right into this interview. So many people are excited for this interview. I'm excited for it. I hope you're excited for it. So, let's dive right in. You ready? I'm ready. All right. We go way back, right? Oh, yeah. I don't I even know. know. I've known you forever. I don't even know how long it's been either. Like, we were playing together when we were just, I don't know. It's, it's like, it felt like small fries. I don't know. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and tell the people, man, how long you and I have been dating on the low. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks how long we've been dating. That's funny. What do you oh, mean? It's, funny. it's true. You're, you're my brother. What, what your brother I don't be in the friend zone? What are you doing? You, you call me. I mean, I don't want to be your friend. Like we did a heist together, right? Have we done a heist? Have we done a heist together? Oh yes. We, we, oh, we does, that that, does that mean we're dating now? We yeah, that's, that's how. That's how yeah, that's I didn't how know. I, Isn't that how it works? Should, somebody should have told me this. Isn't that how it works in the entire GTA landscape? Once we play together, like you're my girl. Oh, wow, that's, that's news to me. Well, you, all right, okay. Yo, honest to God, like that's got to happen to you a lot of stuff like that, does it not? Oh, yeah, I could get crazy out there. Like, well, how, how, do you, you, how, how do you handle it? Well, I just, like, I'm older, so I just, like, I'm Mama Nikki, and you guys are my, my, my babies, you know? I'm single, and I'm not looking to hook up with anybody. I, I enjoy it. I'm just doing my stream and doing my thing, taking care of my family, my community. And, what do you mean? Uh, people who don't see you as Mama Nikki and they want a little bit more than Mama Nikki. Like, how does that work? Like, how do you handle that? Well, you basically just laugh it off and uh, they'll just move on. If you don't give them the, what they want, they will just give up and go on to the next girl. So you see a lot of that in my stream. They're like, oh, I can't get to her. So they'll just move on. Next girl. All right. It's... They stick around, hang out with me, chill with the community, have some fun. That's what it's all about. I'm not GTA and streaming is not a dating app. I didn't say streaming so I can start dating someone or look. I can find someone. I can go in my city. Like I'm separated from my kid's father. I'm not really looking to hook up with anybody at the moment. I'm uh, I'm just I'm on vacation. <laughs> I mean, I'm on vacation. All right. So I mean, it's it's, it's got to be challenging to be. I don't know. I'm not a girl, but I talk to a lot of y'all. It's got to be challenging to be a female streamer, is it not? Like, well, it can be because it, it could be really catty out there, and people could try to, uh, you know. They try. They try to get in. If you you don't give them the attention they want, they they go around in other streams and talk crap about you because you're not giving them, you know, enough attention. And they start to try to destroy your character, and they they just make up a whole bunch. Oh yeah, being a female streamer is probably a lot harder than being a man, a male streamer. It is a man's world, right? Everybody, everybody looks up to the men, and then the women are just there, I guess. And we, yeah, it's hard. I, I get, it's tough sometimes. I can yeah. only imagine. And the reason why I'm asking you, there's going to be a lot of women that are listening, a lot of girls that are listening that have probably thought about. Strength. I know. Women, like, women should stick together and not go against each other. They should stand up for each other. And a lot of girls can be catty and they could, you know, get, I, I love all the, I love all my girls. I, I, um, I welcome all the girls in my stream. But sometimes, you know, girls, it's hard. It's mostly girls that give you a hard time to the other girls. The guys don't. Really? It's the girls that do it. A lot of girls. Dude, all right. I've had dude, more problems dude. with females than I've had with men. 
more problems with female. Okay, what's some of the, like the worst stuff that you face from females? Like, like what? Well, what they, like, they're very judgmental. They'll make fun of you. They'll, you know, they they go into other people's streams. They talk crap about you. They, they just, they just. Why do you think that is? Is it because you're hot? I I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm easy target because I'm super nice and I'm super friendly and I don't hold grudges. And even the people that have done that to me in the past, I forgive them. I don't hold grudges towards them. I let them go do their thing. And people could form their own opinions about me. So you girls do what you want to do. Keep rocking and I will too. Oh, I got you. So you're ugly. What? I'm just. Well, my mo- my mama thinks I'm beautiful. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, you know. Oh, you so listen again. I'm here with the lovely Nikki, Nikki, Nick. So happy to have her. Let's keep it moving. All right. So listen. Now you had some. You, you talking about the women? Now this is interesting. You know, a lot of guys are because you know you, you, some guys out there. They happy to be listening. So listen, you've had some. I've known you for a while. You've had some 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 fatal like attractions on your hands out there, right? Like so. Like, oh yeah, I've had a few. Can, all right, floor is yours. What's one of the like craziest stories? You, you know what? Let's start on the guy. What's one of the craziest stories you've gotten from like a guy trip? You know, like coming at you trying to I don't know woo you or whatever. Like floor is yours. Oh, well, I, I I don't know what how to respond to that. What do you well, mean? What do you, mean? you don't have to respond to that. Me. You don't have well, any I don't, I don't really show myself. All you see is my one little picture. I have a few pictures on my Instagram. I'm not showing off my body. I'm not trying to get that attention from men that a lot of girls do. Like, I'm not, I'm just streaming. I want to help people grind, make money, escape from reality come join me in my stream and just forget about it. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to attract anybody. So I don't really have too many crazy stories to tell you. Really? Not, not even really. like girls. What about like girls? Girls ain't been tripping on you too, like coming at you. Like oh, you know? I had girls come at me, tell them that they have like girls that come at me and tell me that they love me. They have a little crush on me. Then they get mad if I don't invite them to a heist or they'll go and, you know, cry to everybody and say Nikki's mean when I'm not being mean. Basically, you know, I'm just I'm just streaming and I'm just going. And if I don't give them attention, they, you know, they turn on you. If I don't give the girls enough attention, they'll turn on you. You know, it's the, the I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just that's what they do. I've yeah. I I can name at least four of them right now. It's just oh. basically YouTube is so different. Like it's, it's it's hard because people are trying to get their channels. It's mostly YouTubers that turn on me, female YouTubers that like to do that to me. Is it like jealousy? Are they like in love with you? Like what's what's happening here? Like are you getting like like the opposite of like penis pics? Are you getting like boob pics from girls? Like what's happening here? Like I don't, uh, I, I I don't even know. honestly I don't even have time to open my DMs because I'm super busy. Oh, and- come on. I I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't I don't get no pics like that. Yeah, you you know what you, you you have a fantasy going on in your head. I don't have one. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help. There's guys out there that want to know, you know. And we're trying, you know what? Let's try this again. Let's play a game. All right. This is for the. Let's play a game for okay. the fellas. All right. I want. Let's try again. I'm gonna ask you mm-hmm. a question, and I want you to indulge for the for the guys out there that are listening and just fantasize about Nicky Nick. I don't know. You know. So let's answer. I want you to answer this question again. How you think the guys want you to answer it? You ready? Okay. Nikki, name. Give us a crazy story that of, of a female coming after you. Go. <laughs> Give me a crazy story of a female coming after me. Yeah, you know, trying to trying to get. Oh well, uh, I, I well when I first started playing GTA, uh, female used to follow me around. Every time I get on the game, this one girl, which I thought was a guy because she was a guy character, it was a guy character, and he used to like follow me around everywhere, kill anybody that killed me. Every time I come out of my apartment, they'll be right there, want me get give me a ride, you know, just on me like crazy, just there protecting me. They just. And then if I would go near somebody else or get in anybody else's car, they'll blow them up. Like, <laughs> you know, if I talk to anybody else, they'd like, they'd kill them. Or if I started hanging out with anybody else, they'd boot them. Yeah, I've been through that. 
you know you know i've been through that so yeah girls can be pretty girls are mm, there's there's something yeah, to look out for. get some naked photos right all right cool we got you that's no, 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 I don't. all right there we go i'm here with the lovely <laughs> nikki nikki nick, nick. Check her out on Instagram. All her links, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch will be down below in the description. We're happy to have her here. We're going to move forward to one of my favorite parts of the interview, rapid <laughs> questions, all right? Before, as always, you know, I'm going to give you a, a list of questions. You know, hear about oh. 15 questions or so. And traditionally, they get, uh, uh, you know, one free pass. But for you, we're going to treat you just like we treat all the other women in the world. You ain't going to get nothing. No free pass. You gotta answer everything. <laughs> uh oh. You gotta answer everything. Okay, you ready to play? All right, let's play. All right, you ready? All right. First one. Do you like to cook? I do like to cook for uh, when I have company or ever, people over, but not for myself, really. <laughs> oh, Lord. Can you cook? That's what I should have asked. Oh, yeah, I can cook. You can cook? All right. What's one of your favorite dishes to cook? No, I I make like shepherd's pie. I can make like lasagna, spaghetti, chicken schnitzel, like salads. You know, I'm not like a fancy cook. Salads, get out of here! All right, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, like chefs cook salads and stuff. Like, yeah, they're good. I think All salads right. are good. Do you work out? Uh, I do sometimes when I'm not gaming. I work out running around the city, running up and down the stairs. But with okay. this COVID thing, I haven't. I ride my bike to the bridge. I ride my bike back sometimes. You know, because right. I live right by the water, so I like to go for walks by the water sometimes and feed the birds. That's cool. Favorite <laughs> types of movies, comedies, I, dramas. Oh, comedies for sure. I like scary movies too. I watch a lot of scary movies. I just got finished watching the slasher series. That was crazy. Mm, I got um, favorite movie all time. Kill Bill. Nice, nice, dope. My favorite. Do you now? I, I know a little bit about Canadian women. Do you like to dance? Oh, I love to dance. I dance all the time. That's my exercise. I clean the house. I got my broom. It's my microphone. I go to the town. What you just so you're just going around the house cleaning and dancing. Yep, cleaning and dancing. That's the only way I can do it. Okay, all right. <laughs> now, do you know the U.S. national anthem? Uh, yeah. You do? I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Yo, let's go. You want to give us a little taste? No, I'm not singing it. No. Oh, come on. You know? So do you consider and yourself more? Of free, something like that. <laughs> All right, I'll take there's, it. Something there's, there's a piece. There's a piece to it. All right, whatever. <laughs> we're Canadian, so we had to sing the Canadian anthem at school all the time. You can see Do you know the Canadian one? Can you no. give me a little piece? Come not on. A, not, all yeah. I know is Oh Canada. That's there it. you go. That's the beginning. Perfect. Oh Canada. <laughs> oh Canada. And then that's it. That's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know, yo. You consider yourself more Canadian or, or U.S.? Well, I live right on the border, so I consider myself half. My dad was half American, and so I'm like, you know, quarter American, I guess. You're from Windsor, right? Yeah, I am. I'm from Little Detroit City. Little Detroit. Mm -hmm. So you, you got black folks problems too sometimes, right? Or you used to have black folks problems growing up. Oh, yeah. my my. <laughs> uh, well, I did it. My, my dad worked at Chrysler, so I was like, Blue, whatever you call it, the blue collar. But my aunts, my mom's sisters, they all lived it. I was always there, and there, all my cousins were there. So I was always in the projects, watching and babysitting my cousins. Gotcha. Lots, Lots of casinos, casinos up there. there. You like to gamble? I'm not a big gambler. Like if I go to the casino, I'll bring a hundred dollars, and that's it. I'm not spending more than a hundred dollars. Once that hundred dollars is gone, I'm going home. What you play? What you playing out there? Uh, I'm a big roulette player. I like roulette. Nice. You any good, or you just like to play? Well, I I'm, I know how to play it. Like I like to bet on the zero sometimes. Those come in, play in the middle, put some money on red. You know, I'm pretty good. I always win. 
I can usually come out with a little bit of money in my pocket. I got you. All right. We're gonna start getting we're gonna start getting a little testy now. Ooh. <laughs> Ideal date. Ideal date. Oh yeah. Dear. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Of course you know. Is it like white horses? Is it like, you know, candlelight dinner? Is it like a nice little picking in Nick? An uh, ideal date is maybe make sure they show up on time. <laughs> that, that's the ideal is if you say you'll be there at seven o'clock, you better be there at seven o'clock because if you're not, I won't be home. Wait a minute. Are you getting stood up a lot? Is this, is this what's happening no. in Nikki's past? No, I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I just, I like what dinner in a movie is basically perfect. That's it. It'll just be on time. No, I'm not. Get stood up. I don't even date. I was with my kid's father forever, so I don't even. I haven't even been on a date. I don't even remember last. Well, beyond, come on, man. I I have not been on a date in a long time. I was just asking. Wait a minute. You said kid's father. How many kids you got? You wrote it up. I have two two daughters. Nice. That's awesome. How old are they? Do you, you mind telling? You don't have to. 19. You know what? Don't tell them. Don't say. Because <laughs> okay. I Do you want to say? You can. You uh, they're nineteen and seventeen. I love my girls. They're oh, nice. eighty. Nice. And you're 21, right? Yeah, I just turned 21. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Here we go. Socks to bed, yes or no? No. No, I, I didn't know some women, you know, wear okay. socks to bed. Uh, God, who does that? All right. Type of underwear. Type of underwear, just regular. I don't like the regular, like granny panties? I, like, what I is that? Just a uh, regular underwear. What does not that a, mean? Thongs like J no, cut, no, boy no, cut. No, just panties, not thongs. Just regular girl underwear. <laughs> oh yeah, like, like, yeah, like you can't answer it. Like, what are we doing here? Room, I don't know. Just <laughs> oh, you don't know. The guy that felt. I, 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 you know, I don't wear thongs unless I'm wearing like a, a dress or something. It depends on what I'm wearing. Beyond honestly. For women, it's different. We have to wear different undergarments for what we wear that day. So yes, I wear all different kinds of underwear. It depends on what I have on. If I'm wearing tights or if I'm wearing jeans or if I'm wearing a dress or if it's white, you know what I mean? It's all depends on what outfit I choose to wear that day. I got you. Are you like are you like matching your, your undies with your bra? Is that are you one of the type of women? <laughs> what? It depends. Like if I'm going to somewhere special, maybe. But if I'm just chilling out at home, I'm not really. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't know, like you know, because dudes, you know, we, <laughs> you guys, we, <laughs> dudes, we make sure our socks are matching. You know what I'm saying? We like to make sure our drawers match with the shirt we got on. I didn't know, how, you know. I just know some women. It's, it's whatever. I'm just asking, man. The fellas in your community want to well, know. Yeah, right? well, it depends on what what the what we're doing. You know. Listen, don't get it twisted. I'm minding my business. I'm just answering. I'm just I asking do. questions that the people want to know. You know. What I, I, mean? I do always match my socks, though. Nice with your <laughs> panties or the bra. No, with each other, like the left oh. and the right. <laughs> I, it's good. Like, come on, I'm just trying to be. I'm just trying to be. I usually try to match them. If I'm wearing like black socks, they're both are good. I'm going to have one black sock, one white sock on. <laughs> All, right. All right, you ready? Oh, oh, I don't know. Do, do women poot or do y'all fart? Do we what poop? Do you what poop? Do, you poop? do women poop? Poot. P O O T. Do you poop? Yeah. Or do you fart? Well, like I don't know. Like pass gas. Like which one do you? Well, do? I don't just let it rip. If you know, make it real loud for people to hear it. We kind of like let it out slowly. You know. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. Is that called a toot? Like, I guess it's a toot. <laughs> that would definitely it's, be. It's a, it's a, a deadly, you know, steam. Like, I don't know what the hell. Steve. I don't fart, okay? Strange. You don't fart. No, okay. I don't. That's what I was asking you. I don't ever. I so never fart. So you steam. No, I don't. I don't fart. <laughs> what the hell is steam? It's just, it's just I don't know what I was trying to say. It's, you're like, what do you say? Is a poop? Like, what poot. Do you P O O T. Oh, we toot. poot. No, Our it's a toot. It's a toot. I Oh, uh, a toot! Do you toot? Yeah, you, 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 you like totally confused me with that poop. 
or whatever. <laughs> well, in, in the we, United States, we lightly toot in an area where nobody's around. That's what babies do. So, 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 so all right. So, so, so we go to the ladies' room and toot in private. You go, so you go to the ladies' room to when you need to toot. Yes, especially if you have company over. You don't toot in front of your company. What if you can't hold it though? You don't want to bust you need the room. You go somewhere else. <laughs> well, what if it's an emergency and there's you got no? Here's my question. And you let it out slowly so no one hears it. <laughs> you 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 know you, you know you have to hold those techniques <laughs> in. And you, you gotta hold that, it. And you call that letting out steam? <laughs> yeah, you just let the steam out slowly, like it, you know. So, so here's my question. Like, how, <laughs> I, never, I never called it that before. You got me stumped. I'm like, I don't know what to say. Like, well, that's the American version, all right? We poot down here, apparently, oh, and y'all no. toot up there, all right? Yeah, y'all are much nicer in Canada, so I get it. Tooters and you're what? Poopers? What? Uh, <laughs> <whatever>. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. So here's my question, though. Like, how soon is too soon to toot in front of your significant other? Never. You never toot in front of your significant other? No, but I, my ex used to do that and give me like the Dutch oven. <laughs> it like pissed me off. Like, you fucker. Like, my dad, when I would go shopping with him, he would like fart and then he would yes. run away so everybody would look at me and think it was mine. I was like, you ass. And everybody's looking at me and I'm like smelling it. I'm like, that wasn't me. <laughs> um, you know. yeah. you know? Again, I am here with the tootin-tastic Nikki Nick Nick. Yeah. <laughs> you can check her out. Where is this? What, what's what's Nikki Nick Nick. How could this be one of your questions? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ladies don't ladies don't toot around company. Okay. <laughs> they left for private moments in the like, you know, the washroom <laughs> area. I thought you were saying y'all don't toot at all. I didn't know. <laughs> these, are, these are simple questions that we needed to know, man. Once again, I am here with the lovely yeah. Nikki Nick. Nick, Nick. You can find her on, I don't. <laughs> you can find it on Instagram. <laughs> on Nikki Nick. And also, man, all his socials, including Twitch and YouTube, would be down below in the description. Make sure you check her out. She is absolutely awesome, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Fill in the blank. It's you got you get you got me stumped here. I mean, <laughs> what is the next question gonna be? I'm so crying. At you. Hey, I'm right. ready. Throw them at right. me. <laughs> well, no, you're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right. So a simp is a blank. What is a simp? Uh made up word. Who made up that word? PewDiePie? I don't know. I, I, don't know. The, I think it's the most stupidest word ever that's ever like everybody's saying it too. It's just like I just don't. I don't understand it. So, it, like they say, simp is someone that supports a female gamer. And what about a girl supporting a male gamer? What do you call them? I don't know. I, I had to look it up. So you know? I, it's just a. It's just simp is a word that got a guy made up that that was jealous or something of female. Well, it says a simp is a word that is meant to troll young men for doing anything to get a girl for a girl to get some action he supposedly deserves. While much older, while much older as a term, simp massively trended among 2019 and early 2020 due to a part of a TikTok trend <laughs> among male members of the Generation Z, whatever. If, so. you're, if you're donating to a female because you think the money is gonna get you attention or get you some FaceTime or some action, then you're that that's not the that's not what you should do. You shouldn't donate to somebody because you expect something in return. You donate because you're supporting them. If you're donating to someone and you're expecting somebody something in return, you're just a you're just a dick. You're not a simp. You're just a jerk. Like support people, support a female because you want to support them, not because you expect them to send you pictures or FaceTime you to FaceTime with you and not to be all whatever. Don't don't support people expecting stuff. Support them because you want to, not because you expect something from them. Now you sound like you're saying that from experience. You've had people expect like, like FaceTime and stuff for donations. No, I'm just I'm just saying. I, uh, I, I heard a little laugh in there. What's that mean? You know just, what? Maybe it don't mean anything. People don't don't tell you that straight out. They don't. But you could sometimes you can sense it. You know, like if you. 
some people they'll they'll uh, they'll be around for a while and they'll be donating to you, and then when they notice that you know you're not going to be doing that stuff, then they kind of disappear on you, and they move on to the next girl, and that's okay because eventually you know the right people will come. I'm just not that kind of girl. Damn, it's kind of suck. <laughs> what? It's, I mean, it's got to suck, man. Just, I mean, I say it all the time, and the stuff that y'all have to go through just. Well, there's, there's not very many. It's like, I got a great community of people that support me, and I support them, and I love them. They're not just, uh, you know, they're not just followers or subscribers. They're my friends. They're my family, and I would do anything for them. I'd get the shit off my back for them because I care about each and every one of them. You got a diehard community. Your community loves you. They're 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 they can be possessive at times, but they love you. There's no doubt about that. Oh, I love them too. They're very protective. I love them. They are. They are. All right. So let me ask you this: Nikki has all the money in the world, yo. Where's she going? Where am I going? Yeah, I know I'm you like to travel. I'll, I'll just, if I had all the money in the world, I'd love to just rent the biggest hall and invite all you guys on YouTube, all you guys on Twitch, all my family, all our community, and just hang out. And I'll spend all that money. One night. <laughs> oh, look at you always thinking about others. Yeah, that would be that would be awesome if I could do that. Do you ever think about camming up? Sorry. So you so, yeah, about I'm 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 actually getting set up to start doing cam soon. Like I just don't have the setup yet. Right now I stream from my PlayStation. I don't stream from like an Elgato or and I'm basically just sitting on my my love seat with my laptop in front of me so i don't really have a setup but i'm going to be working on that w once my channel grows and if people want me to get on cam i'll get on cam soon but there's no rush because i'm not trying to get attention for the way i look or my that kind of attention i'm just trying to stream and have a place for people to escape and have some fun and so, having fun that you are because you are absolutely crushing that we were talking about it yesterday and you one of the you know you've been pushing your twitch since the summertime and you're one of the few people i see i mean like you've been absolutely crushing you got over four thousand followers on twitch and you've got over 3.11k on youtube i mean you're still doing your damn thing tizzle like and you're managing both of them like what what, what are the main differences because a lot of people are trying to do this a lot of people i know are trying to manage twitch and youtube how do you manage them both well, I keep it separate. I keep my game. My Twitch is more Dead by Daylight, like the Blood Games, and my YouTube is more like Fortnite, GTA, more mainstream games, and my Twitch is like non-mainstream. So if you're going to start grinding on Twitch, you don't want to go on Twitch and start streaming Fortnite or GTA because there's so many Twitch streamers that already do that. So you're not going to be seen they're not you're going to be lost in all those other streamers so the way to grow your channel on twitch is to stream a game like dead by daylight or something that nobody plays like mortal kombat or something that is not in the mainstream because that way people will see you they're like oh somebody's streaming this this new game or among us anything that is not mainstream start it on twitch that's how you can grow your channel quicker if you start twitch with gta or fortnite it's just going to be lost in the mix I can dig that. You're right. Everybody's out there doing both of those. Do you see any advantages being over at Twitch? Because you're crushing it. Well, the advantage of Twitch is that your donations, you get 100% of your donations. And YouTube, you have to give 30% to YouTube. But I love YouTube, and I love my community on YouTube, too. That's the only advantage. And the, you got some cool emotes and stuff on Twitch. And, yeah, it's, 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 it's both the same. Just a little different game. It's just a different game. Do you like one better? Well, Twitch, I find it has less uh, toxicity, but that's probably because I play DTA on YouTube. So that's why. That's a great point. I think, well, let me ask you, what do you think as far as, I think, I mean, I think a lot of the trolls, and I know there's trolls everywhere, but I think a lot of the trolls have something to do with the games that you play. Do you do you believe that? Like, what do you think? Yeah, like GTA is one of the most toxic games out there, and like it's me, I'm su super nice. So going on GTA is very toxic. There's a lot of trolls and a lot of GTA streamers that like to uh, upload other YouTubers onto their. So it's mostly YouTubers that are toxic it's, that come into my stream and their community of, you know. The community of the toxic person will come after me. And they, they come after me because I'm an easy target, because I'm not a fighter. I'm a grinder. I don't 
want to give them any attention. I'll just leave the lobby. I will go do some maps or something else. Because I don't, I don't want to get in. I don't want to do. I don't want to deal with all that toxic stuff. I've talked but sometimes to you have to. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. But it sucks that y'all have to. Because like I was about to say, I've talked to a lot of females off camera, off stream. And it's the same story. It's just kind of, you know, on a different person, right? Like, you know, y'all just deal with some crazy stuff on GTA that, Guys don't have to just, and it, and it seems nonsensical. The only reason for it just seems to be because y'all are female. So I don't know, man, I'm always rooting for y'all. I know in my mind, I know there are some advantages that we've talked about that, you know, that I make no secret about. It's and hard. I, it's hard to be a streamer on YouTube, especially if you're a female, because a lot of, it's just, you know, some days, especially for GTA, some days you just want to give up, but you can't give up on your community. You gotta be strong. Even those those guys come at you hard. They come at you. You just got to, like, you know, shake it off, take a day off, go on Twitch, take a little vacation, come back to YouTube. Keep the keep them separate, like my games. Like, BTA and Fortnite will always be on my, my YouTube channel. So I usually do the last day reminder. I try to do grinding, but, oh, it's hard when you got the toxic people after you. Wow. Well. I know it's I know hard, it's but hard. again, you're you're figuring it out, and you're gonna keep figuring it out. And I'm rooting for you. Everybody's rooting for you, and uh, Aww, you're you. gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Um, you're rooting building. for you too, Beyond. You're like, you're great. I love your music videos too. Who knew? You're like a triple threat. You're Beyond Time Three. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate it, man. You're awesome, man. Anything you want to say to the people out there? Hey guys, what's up? How well, you do? Happy October. <laughs> oh, we have it here. I hope you guys got your costumes ready. <laughs> well, there you go. I hope y'all got y'all's costumes ready, yo. Once again, are man. You, are I'm, you dressing up? Am I what? No, for what? I don't I'm know. Not getting, I'm not, I'm not going near your people. I'm not going near any mouth breathers, so there's no need to be dressing up. On camera. Mm -mm. I love them. I'll see them. I see. I put on a hat. How about that? Maybe I put on a hat. Put on a mustache too. <laughs> yeah, I put on a big mustache. There you go. <laughs> you Charlie Chaplin. You be Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, man. Again, I want to thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and speaking to me off camera as well. That was really, really good, man. Um, there was so much that we said off camera that we definitely uh, couldn't say on camera. But hey, that's just how it go, man. But you guys, man. Again. I want to thank Nikki Nick Nick for being here affectionately. We call her Nikki three times. She's awesome. Make sure you guys check her out. All of her links, social media, channel, every, her Twitch, everything will be down below in the description. Girl power. Make sure y'all stick together, man. Check Again, her community is booming. Like when, if she comes, to, if she's streaming on YouTube, it's going to be packed in there. Try not to be intimidated if you're a guy. It's all good. And, and if you're over in, if you got Twitch, make sure you check out over there and go say what's up, man. Show us some love. It's all good. And once again, man, I'm Beyond the Game. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another podcast. We will see you guys next time. And we are out. Haven't saw you for a while. Just sitting here lonely days. Habits formed, I told you.